Almost a month ago, I built a thermal camera using the AMG 8823 8x8 thermal image array temperature sensor. I used a Raspberry Pi 4 as the processor and a 7-inch LCD display for visualization. However, the project turned out to be too expensive, costing more than $200 due to the current scarcity of Raspberry Pi 4. Therefore, I decided to create a more affordable version of this thermal camera project. I utilized a Node MCU ESP8266 as the controller and an ILA9041 2.8 inches TFT LCD display for visualization. In this project, we will create our own thermal camera using the ESP8266 and the AMG8833 thermal temperature sensor. We will visualize the thermal image on an ILA9341 screen. This homemade dye thermal camera is portable since it works with a 3.7V lithium-ion battery. You can recharge the battery with a 5V micro USB cable as it has a special battery charging module called TP4056. The TFT display can also show the battery voltage level. When an object is introduced near the sensor, it displays visual images in the form of changing colors. The sensor is 8x8 based but due to the interpolation algorithm, it appears as 32x32. We have also designed a small, low power PCB that can be powered by a battery. This PCB can fit easily inside a casing. You can use a casing for this project. This 3D case consists of multiple parts and a handle. When the display and board are placed inside the case, it looks awesome and professional. So let's dive deep and see how we can build our own thermal camera. This video is sponsored by Next PCV and HQ Online. The HQ Online is a one-stop electronic component sourcing platform. HQ Online provides a complete set of electronic component business services. All you need to do is search the electronic component with a part number. As it has a fastest search engine, it will show you the list of all available parts. Add the part to your cart then place the order. To get started, check the link in the description. The components required for this project are the AMG8833 8x8 thermal image sensor, a Node MCU ESP8266 board. You may use a Wemos T1 Mini, a 2.8 inches ILI9341 TFT LCD display, a TP4056 battery charging module. A 3 pin slide switch, a 130K register, some jumper wires for connection, and a breadboard unit. Let's have an overview of the AMG8823 sensor first. AMG8823 is a simple thermal camera module from Panasonic, also known as a temperature monitoring device. It divides capture data into 64 blocks of 8x8, giving it a resolution of 8x8 or 64 pixels. Each pixel acts as an individual IR sensor providing a separate temperature measurement, making this sensor better than PIR and pyrometric sensor that only offer one temperature value. The AMG8823 features a built-in lens that restricts its viewing angle to 60 degrees, making it ideal for detecting objects in the midfield. It operates at a voltage of 3.3V or 5V with a sample rate of 1Hz to 10Hz. Its temperature resolution is approximately 0.25 degrees Celsius and it can detect temperature within a range of 0 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. This thermal camera will cost you around $40 to $50. The high cost of thermal camera is mainly due to the lens and circuitry as they detect IR waves of 8 to 14 micrometer which requires expensive materials like germanium or chalcogenides to be used. The size and heat dissipation of the camera array also add to the cost. The sensor has 6 pins and only 4 pins are used for interfacing with the microcontroller. 
The interrupt pin is only used in some cases and ADO pin is used to set the I2C address. Alright, let's assemble everything now. This is a circuit diagram for breadboard assembly. I used I2C pins to connect the AMG8033 sensor and SPA pins to connect the LCD display. The DP4056 is directly connected to the battery and is used for charging. Similarly, a 3.7V LiPo battery can be used here to power the entire device. A slight switch is used to turn the device on or off. A 130K register is used here to measure the battery's analog voltage via the A0 pin. I used a breadboard to assemble everything together. The TFT LCD display is connected to the ESP8266 SPA pin for displaying the thermal image. The AMG8033 is connected via wires to the ESP8266 I2C pin. There is a 130K register to measure battery voltage. The TP4056 module is used for charging here. We have a lithium ion battery, especially a Samsung 18650 battery, but you may use a smaller battery for powering the device. A slight switch is here, which when slit will turn on the device. One thing to note, the breadboard assembly is quite messy. That is why I decided to build a custom PCB for this project. Here is the schematic designed using EasyEDS software. All the components used here are SMD type. To charge the battery, I use the battery management ICMCB7381. To get 3.3V, I use the LDO from Holtec. The ESP8266 chip is used here, which can be programmed via the USB to TTL converter module. This design has been taken as a reference from a post that you can find here. You may use this post to learn more about the design. The post contains all the necessary information about the design parameters. This is the PCB for the same schematic. The PCB size is quite small and the components are placed on both sides. As you can see in the 3D view, the size almost fits in your palm. The LCD can be connected here via wires and the AMG8033 thermal camera can be connected via wires on the backside. The PCB looks something like this. This particular PCB is for some other projects but the design parameters are almost the same. The PCB also requires a casing for this project. Here is a list of STL files that can be printed using a 3D printer. I didn't design the 3D casing, instead I found this design on the internet. The author's name is Star Grove. All the components can be placed inside this casing. The final casing will look something like this. Now let's move on to the coding part. The code has been written by Wilhelm Jeschner. The complete GitHub repository is here. The code requires four libraries, Adafruit GFX library, ILI 9341 library, TFT ESPA library and AMG8833 library. The code is well written and works like a charm. You can select the node MCU board from the board list and also select the COM board. Now upload this code. Now the device is ready for testing and demonstration. Slide the switch to power on the device. The LCD will display a message like sensor found. Now you can introduce hot objects in front of the sensor and start testing. I introduced and sweat my hand in front of the sensor and it displayed the thermal image as well as the temperature on the LCD. You may introduce hot objects like a soldering iron on, of the temperature and change in the thermal image. The hot soldering iron is best suited for this test. You may check your CPU temperature or any other hot stations.
the same device in the 3D casing looks even cooler and better. That is all from the video part today. The complete project details including device information, purchase links, source code and written guide can be found in the How to Electronics website article. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.